Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 8th grade concept of comparing simple interest. This is standard 8.12a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 11 of the 2019 released STAR test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we've got two customers taking out loans from a bank. And you notice the difference here is in the amount of time and the interest. So Henry's got less years, higher interest. Ingrid's got more years, less interest. And so we're looking for what's the difference between the two amounts of interest. The type of interest is going to be very important. This is simple interest, not compound interest. All right, so how do we find simple interest? Simple interest has got a very simple formula. It is in your mathematics chart. If you're taking this on the star test, you're going to find PRT. So what that really means is the P is the principal. Principal is the initial amount of the loan. How much are you actually borrowing? Uh, so in this case, this principal is going to be the $5,000. You're going to multiply that by R, the rate. That's the interest rate. So that's going to always be probably given to you as a percentage. But you are going to need to change that into a decimal for multiplication purposes. And then the T is just the time. What's the time length? Sometimes given to you in months. Sometimes given to you in years. doesn't matter which one is which. As long as when you're comparing, you're keeping the same unit. You don't want to compare months versus years. It's going to just give you different numbers. So let's see what we've got for Henry here. All right, so Henry, I'm going to use my formula PRT. And I'm going to uh, plug this in. My principal is going to be $5,000. I'm going to multiply that by the rate. Now, I did say that we need to turn this into a decimal. When we're multiplying percents, go ahead and switch it into a decimal. So my 4.2%, I need to convert that. So percent to a decimal. Remember, you move the decimal over twice to the left because it's out of uh, 100. And so we've got 0 0.042. And I know it's it goes to the thousandths place, but we need every single one of those digits. So don't, don't round it. Don't drop any of those off. And then our time is simply going to be, uh, for Henry, four years. All right, so this is one I definitely would recommend pulling out your calculator for. And so let's see what that is. 5,000 times 0 0.042. That's going to get you 210 times 4. There we go, 840 bucks. How does that compare? And let's see what we have for Ingrid. She's PRT as well, same formula. Also starting out with a principal of $5,000. She's got 3.9, right? So we're going to do 3.9. Let's turn that into a decimal. Move it over twice. 0 0.039. Her time length is different. She's got six years. All right, so 5,000 times 0 0.039, that's 195, times 6, and that's going to get you 1,170. So you see that even though it was a smaller interest rate, those two extra years did definitely make it cost more. But you're not going to find either of these answers there because let's look back at what we needed to find. The difference between the two amounts. So uh, you can use your calculator or you can just use paper and pen. So 1,170 minus 840. What is the difference between the amounts of interest? Let's see, and there we go. We're gonna get our $330 as our difference. And so our answer here is going to be D.